before attempting to service or install the CL60 grid tie PV inverters from Schneider Electric. Wear personal protective equipment rated adequately for all potential hazards on site, following local, regional, and industry safety regulations. Ensure your upstream AC and DC breakers and disconnects are turned off and locked out and tagged out using LOTO procedure. Turn the DC connect to the off position and on the CL60A, perform LOTO. On the CL60A only, turn the AC disconnect to the off position and perform LOTO. Disconnect the PV string cables incoming to the inverters by disengaging all your MC4 or H4 connectors using the provided PV connector removal tool or manufacturer's recommended tool. Once all power sources are disconnected from the CL60, wait 10 minutes before removing covers. Measure for the absence of voltage using the appropriate PPE equipment and minimally rated 1000 volts DC, 400 volts AC meter. In this video, we will explain how to mount the CL60A and the CL60E PV grid tie inverters from Schneider Electric. Before starting, ensure the chosen wall or frame is designed to withstand the load of inverters for the lifespan of the installation. Additionally, ensure the installation area is properly ventilated with sufficient space available around and between the inverters to provide adequate ventilation. The following tools will be required to mount the CL60, PPE, a Phillips number two screwdriver, horizontal level, drill, 16 millimeter socket and ratchet, 16 millimeter wrench, a torque driver and a torque wrench. By choice and where required by regulation, a mechanical lift and lifting straps. Step one, open your box and inventory. Your hardware box will include your MC4 or H4 PV connectors, small AC cable gland, through hole mounting bolts, four handles, also inside a document pack, including a small USB which contains your owner's guide. And in the main box, you will find the mounting back plate and finally, a quick start guide. Step 2. Position the mounting backplate and be sure that it is leveled horizontally and vertically. Then simply mark the center point of each one of your drill holes. Step 3. Remove the backplate and drill all six holes. Use a drill bit sized for M10 through bolts or alternatively sized for anchors used in masonry or concrete installations. There are two options for fasteners, expanding concrete bolts, which will allow you to mount in concrete or brick installations. But for most installations, M10 through bolts are used. The configuration is flat washer, spring washer, and then finally the hex nut with an M10 bolt coming through. Of course, Schneider Electric provides enough hardware to mount for all six through holes. Step 4. Install the backplate onto the frame or wall using M10 through bolts or anchors in six positions and ensure to torque the fasteners to 35 newton meter or 25.8 pound foot. Step 5. Unpack the inverter by removing side cardboard pieces, top foam insert, and end cardboard inserts. Then simply roll back the plastic where you can then gain access to the installation screw hole points near the four corners. Step 6A, two-person lift option. Pull the cardboard back to make room for the lifting handle. The handle just simply screws into the four corners of the inverter. Tighten down the handles to approximately 35 newton meter or 25.8 pound foot. Step 7A, two-person lift option. Carry the CL60 using the handles, incorporating safe lifting technique. Position yourself in front of the mounting bracket. Adjust the unit to a vertical orientation, readjust your grip, and mount in one smooth controlled motion. Confirm both the upper and lower flanges are engaged. When using a mechanical lift, 
There are two ways of attaching strapping to the CL60 for a mechanical lift. Firstly, the supplied lifting handles installed on the CL60 can have a lifting strap placed over the top. Secondly, you can replace the top handles on the CL60 with M8 eye bolts, which using a standard lifting strap would simply slide through the eye bolt and be used to lift the unit into position. Step 6B, mechanical lift option. First, mount the straps onto the handles or eye bolts. Then secure the lifting straps to the lift. Make sure that the strap or straps are evenly balanced on both sides. Step 7B, mechanical lift option. Lift the unit into place. Begin slowly and have another person guide the unit as it rises off the ground so it doesn't swing out of place. Step 8B, mechanical lift option. Once the CL60 is in position in front of the backplate, lower the CL60 until it is flush with the backplate. Remove the lifting straps and clear the hoist from the installation. Final step, fix the CL60 to the backplate by installing the two provided locking screws on the top rail. Make sure that it is torqued to 3.7 Newton meter or 2.6 pound foot. Then, finally, remove the handles and check the unit for stability. Be sure to watch the next video in the CL60 series discussing making electrical connections.